let me talk about this energy first because I feel like this is it's almost like let me talk about this first it almost reminds me of you know um that that oracle card I don't do oracle cards mainly because um I I like the traditional tarot I I um jive with it very well so I don't tend to do oracle cards I as uh if you have been a viewer of mine for the past few years I just don't do oracle cards but I do watch them and um, it reminds me of that oracle card like it's safe for you to love. This is kind of like, you know, make your feelings known, make the effort. And, and um, I feel like you don't have anything to fear. You're in good hands. So go ahead and make that romantic gesture. That's what it feels like to me. And I feel that, you know, the knight is not somebody who's naive. He's um, he's got armor on. So I feel that you you've been through quite a uh, um a few disappointments in the past when it pertains to your love relationship. And I feel that you're skeptical. You don't wear your heart on your sleeves, but I feel that it is a really good month for you overall to make that gesture, to make the effort and to like let your guard down a little bit and at least to let the other person know that you are interested in them. So this is might be confirmation or advice for some of you who are thinking like, should I let that person know that I like them? There's no harm in it. You know, you only live once. So it's really important to let your feelings be known. Um, and I feel like a lot of you might come into this month, you know, with this full suit of armor on, mainly because of this past situation. So in the past, we have the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is like the big, big love. It's like the relationship where you might have thought you found the one and vice versa, the other person might have thought they found the one. When it shows up in the reverse position, it basically means lack of compatibility. It's sort of like falling head over heels in love with somebody before you get to know them really well and before you get to know them that they might not be the appropriate person for you or they might not be somebody who's good for you, okay? It's also linked up here with the seven of coins and the seven of coins is a situation where two people are working at cross purposes with one another. Two people wanting to build a relationship together, but when it shows up in the reverse, they don't have all the practical uh, details laid out. So for example, you might be really enamored with someone like very smitten by somebody and um, they might not want a relationship. For, and, you know, that obviously was not going to lead to anything stable. And then likewise, they might not be financially stable to the point where they can be relied upon, they can be trusted, or even they can be uh, a viable partner for you. Money isn't everything. But when it comes to the seven of coins, and it's the, the number seven, it's basically, you know, spiritual lessons that are coming through. Build solid foundations with somebody who wants to build it with you. So don't project your ideals onto a relationship partner, uh, just make sure that they are on board with the same things that you are. I feel that a lot of the times, um, and I'm, I get this a lot with this energy. This is a very, very like idealistic type of person. You know, they, uh, they're, it's like the, the hope, the hopeless romantic. They, um, they want love. They want security. They want relationships. And I feel like this is somebody that, you know, has a lot of love to give. And I feel that this, as your energy, you might be very idealistic in the past when it pertains to like love relationships, where despite all the red flags, despite all the odds that are against you, you're just like, we love each other. It's going to work out. It is a little bit idealistic. And they're pretty much telling you that, you know, I feel like a lot of you might have been left very disappointed as a result of this. Okay. And so... You have come from something like this in the past, some of you, and you're moving forward into this month and you're ready to love again. You're ready to be swept off your feet and you're ready to make your feelings known to another person. So whatever you were dealing with, I feel like some of you might have left a relationship and you're moving on. And then others of you might be in a relationship where you're just like, I don't, I don't see I don't see like how this is going to be brought into the future because it's not going the direction that I want. The love is dwindling down as well as the commitment to one another. Okay. Which brings us to the present situation. We do have here the hangman as well as the page of swords. The hangman is a situation where things are just kind of like 
uh, being strung along. Like um, things are just like moving forward without a sense of direction. It's not the most pleasant experience when you have to like wait on the decision of another person. And it's not the most pleasant experience when you're, you're not really sure about a direction of a relationship. So I feel like you might be still dealing with this and you're trying to figure out like, what do I do? Do I just cut it loose, cut that relationship, end it, move on with my life? Or do I try to fix it? The Page of Swords coming through in your present situation deals with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This is somebody who is, I, I feel like they're very intelligent, um, generally truthful, generally truthful, but I feel like they're bringing you biased information, okay? So you might be dealing with an air sign right now, and you feel almost as if they're not cooperating with you for whatever reason. The way this person comes across, I, I feel like mischief, like somebody who is mischievous, somebody who's fiercely independent. So they don't really know how to work well with another person um, as a partner. So I do feel they have a lot of learning to do as it pertains to like compromise, as it pertains to like sacrifice, as it pertains to like how to be a good relationship partner. Um, with this card coming through, it, the advice here is for you to as well cut yourself loose if you're in this situation and the love is gone and you know the the two people are like barely talking obviously it's not good to stay in it okay so cut yourself loose and open up some type of channel communication so that you can both decide how to move move ahead with or without each other so i feel like something is dragging on long enough it's time to figure out end it or stay in it, continue to stay in it. And I feel like many of you have um, recently ended a, a relationship. If not, you're thinking about it heavily and you're just like, I'm not really happy in it anymore and I think I'm going to end it. Crowning this reading is something that you are thinking about. We have the Ace of Wands as well as the Eight of Cups. We do have, um, with the Ace of Wands, this is a, a burst of new passion, new energy. This is something that is bringing you a lot of excitement, a lot of like um, just passion overall. Somebody in your environment is stirring up your passion. And I feel like for a lot of you, there's a new person stirring up excitement. And so you're reexamining your current relationship and you're figuring out that it's not, you know, meeting the criteria that you're hoping for. It's not bringing you that sense of uh, love and excitement once again. Um, a lot of you might be <clears throat> realizing that, okay, so that's what's missing in the relationship. So let me go back and fix it. And I, I feel that if you approach it with a fresh pair of eyes, with like, you know, the, the, um, the mindset of like wanting to problem solve, wanting to like really fix that things and figuring out what the root causes are, I do sense you're going to have success in that manner to re-inject, revitalize the relationship. And then others of you, I feel that you're going to go ahead with a new offer to make your feelings known to the new person because there's a lot of chemistry and a lot of passion associated here with the Ace of Wands. The foundation is something in your environment that is already happening, something that you already know to be true. We have here the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups, this is a heavy energy for a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. I do feel a lot of you are like... um you're encountering new people. You have a lot of suitors in your environment. You might be dealing with another water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising as well. So I do feel that there is temptation. There is offers coming through. Even if you're coupled up, I do see there's some temptation. There's like a new excitement. There's somebody sparking your passion. And uh, for those of you who are single, there's offer for friendship. And I feel that the offer needs to be reciprocated is what they're saying, like offer for going out, having a good time. And there's an offer, somebody with genuine feelings for you. And so they're telling you that, you know, they've already reached out. So it's important for you to reach back. OK, so they're, they're reaching out to you and it's important for you to reach back. Do not re-engage with this situation from the past. I feel like a lot of you might be tempted to. This is a situation that is like it's kind of like a dead end. Uh, two people are working on cross purposes with one another and they don't have the same goals. They don't have the same mentality when it comes to relationship as well as the Ace of Cups reverse, which basically means that on a spiritual, on an energetic level, you're not going to be compatible with one another. So it's it's fun, it's exciting, but it's not going to be long-term and sustainable for you. So re-engaging with that, I don't feel it's going to pan out the way that you'd hope. 
We also have the Four of Coins in the reverse position. This is a card about release, okay? Releasing exes, releasing past energies, releasing past relationship patterns as well that are where you jump head in, where you idealize the, the relationship and you project qualities onto a partner. And in reality, they don't meet those qualities. They, they don't have those qualities. So being a little bit too starry eyed at the very beginning of a relationship and planning so far in advance, you know, like thinking this is the one putting all your eggs in one basket. And then after you get to know the person, you might realize they're not appropriate for you. But by then you have already fallen, you know, head over heels in love with them. So being a little bit more careful. So releasing old relationship patterns, releasing control issues, or even controlling people from your past. Okay. I do feel like, um, based on the previous months that I've done readings for you guys, there were a lot of people dealing with controlling uh, exes, okay? So I hope you're able to move on from this and you're. I hope that the, the you break that cycle coming through for this uh, year, okay? So it's not all people, but the energy was quite heavy. So I, I feel that this is kind of like the breakthrough month where you let go of those unhealthy relationship partners okay and those unhealthy expectations and the the unhealthy patterns when it comes to toxic relationships so just let them go um with the four of coins as well this is a card about you know letting our guard down making our feelings known being expressive verbally and otherwise with our feelings and our emotions so overall it looks good in that manner and it's reaffirming the same thing that you should let your feelings be known the other person it seems like somebody's reaching out to you and um, for whatever reason, I feel like you're still hung up on the past and I feel like you're not looking in the right direction as well. So somebody's making their, their efforts, they're, they're putting in the effort to either court you or to offer you a gesture of love, affection, friendship. And I do sense that it's really important for you. Let your guard down, let your pride down as well and to reciprocate and to make your feelings known to that person, okay? So it's safe, like you're in a really good environment right now. What's coming through next here, we have the Seven of Wands, and this is a card that indicates um, you don't really have, you know, anything to, to prove. You don't really have anything to fight for. You don't really have conflict in this new interaction. It's going to be very harmonious and very smooth. There will be a lot of consistent information and communication coming through with the new people that you're dating and interacting with. And as a result of that, I feel that it's really important for you to take a more lighthearted approach. Date a few people and see who's the best fit for you. Get to know them a little bit more before you jump to conclusions about how you feel about them that would be ideal okay so especially for those of you who are single we do have offers this is the arrows of love this is the eight of wands here and this is like swift communication and i do see a lot of electronic communication for many of you emails text messages especially so you're in a very good space where you can you know branch out explore and letting your feelings be known by other uh, to other people i feel that a lot of you might be um, dealing with a fire sign specifically uh, fire sign uh, Sagittarius Aries and Leo yeah Sagittarius Aries Leo Sun Moon arising that really sparks your passion in terms of compatibility I do see a water sign uh, Pisces Cancer Scorpio like another um, Pisces like yourself or Cancer or Scorpio that you have a lot of compatibility with and I feel like they came from the same type of um, bad relationships too they've left it behind they're approaching life in a new positive mentality and i feel like there could be a lot of healing and a lot of a big bonding experience for many of you if you are dealing with an air sign there's waiting on communication there's waiting i i feel like they're saying waiting for them to decide waiting for them to grow up and make make up their mind so there's that frustrating energy okay so this month looks very, very good for um, singles, for the people who are either seeing somebody, thinking about whether, whether or not to leave the relationship behind. I do see that there's going to be communication breakthrough, but I do sense for many of you, you're reassessing a major relationship in your life and you're trying to see if it's worth continuing on, okay? And some of you, I feel like you're going to be leaving that behind altogether, all right? So I feel either way, there's going to be a lot of clarity coming through. Uh, with relationships for this month. It's very harmonious and it's overall very, very positive, okay? 